Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the new features and changes that Microsoft is making available on Windows 11 build 26.058 in the dev and canary channels. These improvements are expected to become part of Windows 11 version 24H2 which is set to be released during the second half of 2024. Okay, let's dive into the new changes. But before, remember to subscribe and like the video so that YouTube pushes this video to more people and you help the channel. Okay, on Windows 11 build 26058, Microsoft is updating the context menu for File Explorer. So now when you right click a file or folder, you will now see labels for the most common actions. Although without the labels, the icons aligns with the actions, it was kind of difficult to identify so now it's going to be easier to choose the option that you want to use. Now let's go to the settings app and let's dive into the accessibility section, more specifically on the mouse and pointer touch page, because here now we have a new feature called pointer indicator, which when you enable it, you're going to get this visual that it makes it easier for people with low vision to find the pointer on the screen. You can also change the color and you can even use a custom color. As many of the accessibility features, you can also use the Windows key plus control plus X keyboard shortcut to enable and disable this feature using the keyboard. And if this feature sounds familiar, that's because on Power Toys, we have the exact same feature, but it's called Mouse Pointer Crosshairs. And when you enable it and use the Windows Alt P keyboard shortcut, we're also getting the same feature. But in this particular case, you have more configuration options. Also, as part of the Windows 11 build 26058, Microsoft is updating the visuals for the widgets for. So now we have a left side panel. And from here, you can see that the widgets are now separated from the news fee. And you can switch between the two views using the options available on the side. Now at the bottom of the page, that's where you're going to find the button to open the settings. Even further, the widgets icon on the taskbar will now show a batch notification with the number of missed notifications that you have on the widgets board. And then when you open the board, you're also going to see at the top left corner, another widget with the notifications that you may have missed. Now this is specific to the Canary channel. So now when you're in the lock screen, you're going to see the new weather widget, which now displays dynamic information. And when you click the actual widget, when you log in into your computer, you will get the forecast on Microsoft Edge from the MSN website. If you don't like to see the weather on, on the lock screen, you need to go to the settings app and then you need to go to personalization and then on the lock screen, make sure to change this setting to none. Another change that Microsoft is now noting on this particular release is that on Bluetooth and devices, when you go to the printers and scanner settings, when you click the setup button for the Windows protected print mode, you will notice that the feature is not working and we get a message that setting up this feature will actually remove any of the printer drivers and all the printers that they're not compatible with the protected print mode. If you click yes, that's what's going to happen and you will set up the printer with the new modern driver stack. I do not have a compatible printer, but let's just click the yes button and see what happens. And that's it, it removed the printers that were not compatible. And now we're supposedly using the uh, protected print mode. Now, if you ever want to disable the feature, just come back to the same page and click the turn off button. And here you can read what's going to happen and then click the yes button. And as expected, because the previous setup removed all the printers, you will need to reinstall 
any of the printers that you had before in order to print from your computer. Finally, for voice access, now the Windows key control plus S keyboard shortcut will open this feature instead of the Windows speech recognition because that feature has been deprecated on Windows 11. And that's it, those are the most significant changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 26058 in the dev and canary channels. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.